You, white one, look like you got soused last night, too. Sir! It's as though the heavens sent me. Pam, Graham, Pam, Master Witcher, there's an elven bell in the cabin. Oh, what are you saying? It won't be as cocky as the barons, you know. A beauty? What the devil do you mean? A great mare. A horse beast. Folk that went mad, lunged at each other, murdering all neighbors or young'uns. It's the spirit of the forest, taking revenge on those who sought its demise, driving them mad. Geralt! Good, you've arrived. I've trouble drawing any sense from their canting. Should give him a taste of the whip to bring him in line, because... My lord, tis what they they said too about the mare, meaning that is the forest's dark ghost. Who claims so? The, the w w w witch hunters passed through just now, heading for the village in the swamp. S -s Some lass was leading him, asking after her mother. Lass. We must go there at once, Geralt. Agreed. I'll gather my men. Fall in with the swamp to cross and those cursed crowns to hunt down. Crowns, fuck me. What will these hayseeds think of next? The crowns exist. You'll know that soon enough. More likely some mad old wenches making mincemeat of peasant minds. Likely Anna agreed to stay with them, care for them out of the kindness of her heart. Good as gold, that boy. Always. <laughs>
Not many on at once in a while. We shouldn't have come here. Got no business traipsing about. Managed the one time, but who the hell knows what we'll find out That fair talking? Through you? Brawny bird. Who? Me? Here? Not on your life. All right, boys, let's move on. At pace, show these horrors who's in charge. Find the heart to serve the eternal fire. I'm Tamara. Heard quite a lot about you. Tamara, dear daughter, you return after all. Come, don't deny me this embrace. Stay away from me. I've come for mother. Unlike you, I'll not see her rot in this swamp. Why the hell do you think I'm here? To take her home? Oh, you'll do no such thing. You'll not lay a finger on her. Never. I'll not let you. You've a right to be cross. Was not the best husband, the best father, I know. But I've changed. Ask anyone. Geralt, come tell her. Your father, he wants to find his wife, your mother. Really. He pay you much to be his yes man. Verily I say unto you that ire and vehemence can lead to naught but one's downfall. Who the bloody hell is this? And who are you to ask so crudely? This is my commander. And that should be of no concern to a drunken swine. Tomorrow, you stand with their kind now. Perhaps you'd have them torture and hang your own father. You're not my father, and I care not a bit what befalls you. <clears throat> I remind you, we've a matter to resolve here. You're a witcher. Will you help? Wouldn't be here if I wasn't willing. I've lost five men and have little notion of what else to expect in this cursed place. No time to lose. Crones could return any minute. Ha! Huh. How do you know they're not here already? Because we're still alive. Search the village!
Fiends to me. Crones have sensed us. They know we're close. Sent the beast for Anna. Those damned witches! When will it end? Look what they've done to her. Are they not satisfied? Just look at her. Witcher, you know of these things. You must. What, what's wrong with her? Last I was here, she was nothing like this. Crones must have cursed her. Can you lift this curse? Not till I know what it is. She can't have lived here alone. Perhaps there's someone else. Someone who saw something. Maybe Johnny. Who? Uh, a boy, a hermit. Lives in the swamp. Came around here from time to time. He might have seen something. We must find him. Doesn't like strangers. You wait here. I'm better off going alone. <laughs> Eternal flame will burn away our sins. We're the sergeant of the lashing from the Baron. Show me what you got. Johnny! 
not here. Something's not right. Gotta look around. Might be hiding nearby. Fresh footprints. Johnny ran through here. Fleeing something. Johnny, wake up. Witcher! You frightened me. What were those vile hags? Killed a few near your den. The crone sent them to punish me. Get on the crone's bad side? I told them off. They don't like it when you tell them off. Why'd you do it? Wanted to help Gran. She's always been good to the children. What would have been the doldrums out here without them? She'd have died of boredom. Begged the crones not to hurt Gran, but they were angry she'd let the children escape. So you saw what happened to Gran? By happenstance, Gran mixed some poppy seed and ash. I went by to help her sort it out. Mother Nature gave me small hands, see? So I can do it easy like. Working away we was, separating seeds from dust. Out of nowhere, Gran cried out. The mark on her hand started glowing. She yelled at me to hide. I crawled into a chest. Barely had time to blink before the crones tossed in. The weaver snipped a lock of Gran's hair. Called it punishment for letting the children escape. Then the hags opened the door in the floor. Went down. Down, down. Shame it weren't all the way to hell. Stay in the chest until the crones left? Wanted to. Sit tight and quiet, said to myself. Not a peep out your beat till they go. But then Gran fell to the floor. Started screaming and tearing her hair out. Didn't know what to do. So I leapt out of the chest. Thought herbs might help her. The ones she cured the children's aches with. But Gran was no longer herself. She was a beast. So, you give her the herbs? Couldn't manage it. The crones came back. I dropped to my knees and begged him to spare Gran. Bruess piped up first. Naughty boy! Oh, naughty! Shouldn't say no when the sisters want to hear yes! Then the Wispeth says, Run, boy! Run! Before your legs rot off! They all laughed, and I legged it! There's something in that cellar. The key to finding out what happened to Gran, I think. Will you help her? Provided it's not too late. Thanks, Johnny. And good luck to you. Likewise. And if you happen on any water hags, give them a nice fat walloping on me behalf. Farewell, Witcher. Did you learn anything? Just as I thought. The crones probably cursed your mother, took a lock of her hair, then disappeared down the stairs. Cellar into the house. Cellar door is hidden. In that case, we've no time to lose. Come. I work alone. This matter concerns us all. We don't know what's in there. Your men will make a lot of noise. More than I'll make alone. I am the Church of Eternal Fire's agent in these lands. It is my duty to go with you. Fine. Just you then. The rest stay here with Anna. Let me go in first. Give you a shout if I find anything interesting. So be it. Let's begin. <sighs>
the eternal fire. I've never seen so many before. Looks unsavory. What is all this? The trappings of a black magic ritual. Witches weave human hair through dolls they first curse. They gain a grasp on individual souls this way. Think one of the dolls represents Anna? Can we free her if we find it? It's the only way I know of. But there are risks involved. The items woven into the dolls, see them? They symbolize the individuals the dolls are meant to represent. We must find the doll that is Anna and take it from here. Seem to know a lot about this. From tomes on black magic. Initially, we burned any that we found. Recently, we decided it might be wise to read them first. Poisoning your minds with magic? <laughs> Superstition? What's the Hierarch think of that? Have you met the man? No. Neither have I. This risk you mentioned. Take it we only get one shot at choosing the right doll. I'll not chance it. I did not know, Anna. You've learned much of her. Should find it easier to choose. All right. Let's take a look at these dolls. Hmm. Bird feathers woven into this one. If I had to bet on it, I'd say this doll represented Philippa. Philippa Eilhart, if that's true, then... Relax. First name that came to mind, that's all. Philippa's way too clever for the crones to have snared her in some trap. Besides, we're not here for Philippa. We're here to save Anna, and I can't think of any link between her and Bird Feathers. That might seem obvious, but what if it's a ruse and this doll, in fact, symbolizes Anna? Doubtful. Crones would have no reason to employ trickery here. Should look at the others. This is interesting. A doll with a flower. What's so interesting in that? Not just any flower. A violet hollyhock. Baron once told me it was Anna's favorite flower. You believe this to be the doll? I'm sure it is. Taking it. Outside. Mum, you're back. All will be well. You're going to be fine. Tammy, I'm dying. She's not well, raving. Doesn't rightly know what's happening. You're weak yet. You must rest. No. Listen to me. The crones. I was to be their beast to the end forever. You broke their spell. But now I must go. What's she talking about, Witcher? Crones deceived us. Their curse is a death sentence. No way to lift it, at least not in a way that would let Anna live. We broke their spell temporarily, partly. Now it's got to run its course. What? What does that mean? She's dying. It's good to see you together. I'm sorry, Annie. For everything. I'm sorry. Mother, Tammy, do you remember that day on the inner? Of course. Those plums are so sweet. In your dress, so oh blue. You wove me a wreath of flowers. <laughs> we laughed the day away. Please, remember me like that. I thank you. They had a chance to say goodbye. It was your doing. <laughs> <laughs>
Shame I couldn't do more. Come, child. The eternal fire will soothe your pain. Leave me be. Your pay will await you at Crow Perch. Collected there. None of this was your doing. I know. Which makes it no easier to bear. The pain will I pass. Enough with it. I'd like to believe that. I would. Faster. Yeah. What do they call you? Know how to fight? Geralt. And yes. <laughs> then enter the lists, my friend. I'm ready. Let's fight. Good folk. Fish gulpers finally found a foe. Right here, right now, on the field of honor, he'll face none other than Geralt of Rivia, the uh, Hammer. Spare me a minute before the fight, Master, please. Cut of your mugs plain as day. What am I beside ye? I just want to live. These days, streams are bereft. No fish for me to gulp. And they's given a sack of flour to the winner. Show some pity. Take a fall for me. Not about to lose on purpose. If you want to win, you gotta beat me. How long are you gonna make me wait? Yes, we might have known. The Witcher took Fish Gulper and Fish plowed his job. Near warm my heart to see him renovate his head. Not bad, not bad. Time to try your luck against Jonah. And then there's Smithy at the inn of the crossroads. Go to it, friend. Please. You won't be as cocky once the Baron's man whip your arse.
What the hell happened? Hanged himself. Plain enough to see. Himself? Or did you boys help him? What the fuck you take me for? A murderer? He was what he was. A right bastard. But I respected him. If I'm to choose between a greater and lesser evil, I'd rather not choose at all. Usually, though, the stakes are just too damn high. Sometimes in choosing a greater evil, you do good, albeit in a small way. When I chose to save the orphans of the swamp, I couldn't know Anna would die. And I never thought the Baron would leave his wife where she lay, find a rope, and hang himself. Most times, you make your choice and never look back. Lost everything he cared for. No surprise he lost the will to live. Don't look too concerned, you and your boys. What would you have us do? Sit and wail? Baron was a good soldier, but settling in here at Crow's Perch, it made him soft. We'll introduce a new order. Things will be different now. I imagine they will. What do you say we flog some hick? Yeah, for kicks and kick. Love to, but not till the morning. So, we often milk some milkmaids. Please, 